Welcome to I'm Your Target Demographic, and today we're continuing The Divine Comedy, a trio of poems written by Dante Alighieri. To recap, Dante and his guide Virgil have just traveled through the entirety of hell and emerged from the other side of the earth, ready to make the ascent towards heaven. So let's begin Purgatorio, the second section of the poem. Virgil and Dante stand at the base of a mountain, which was created when Lucifer crashed into the earth. This mountain is also the ascension to heaven, so it begins with another lobby of sorts called the Anti-Purgatory. These are people waiting to ascend, usually in this lobby because they were excommunicated or they repented too late in life. Dante made a point to include that the prayers of the living could affect how long his soul lingered in purgatory. If someone repented late in life, they must wait for a lengthy period before ascending. There are seven terraces of purgatory, each one loosely tied to the seven deadly sins. Instead of being punished and tortured like Inferno, as you ascend the terraces you atone for these sins from the past. The first terrace is Pride, where the souls there are humbled and humiliated by having to carry massive boulders on their backs and are forever hunched over. The second terrace is Envy, where people are punished for wanting what is someone else's. Some are blinded here by their eyes being sewn shut. The Wrathful are being punished in the third terrace where a thick black smoke surrounds them and makes them feel alone. Some even see visions in the darkness, examples of meekness, which is the opposite to wrath. In the fourth terrace, we have those that were slothful in life, and here they must race and shout about people that showed zeal in life. They will eventually make up for the sloth they exhibited. In the fifth terrace, Virgil and Dante encounter the greedy and the reckless spenders, who are penitent here by being bound face down, unable to move or gather anything. They must show an understanding of love beyond physical goods and money, so they shout out examples of generosity. Before we get to Terrace 6, there is an earthquake for Dante and Virgil, a sign that another soul has repented and is now able to enter paradise. The two of them now enter the gluttonous terrace, where those that feasted non-stop in life are forced to starve and thirst. Almost to the peak, they enter Terrace 7, where the lustful walk through flames, where they must show disregard for their bodies completely, shouting stories of chastity. To leave this terrace, Dante must also walk through a wall of flame, which he does only because the woman he loves, Beatrice, awaits him in paradise. And that basically ends Purgatorio, at least the major points. Dante stands ready to ascend into the heavens, which will continue in next week's Paradiso. Thanks for watching our second part of the trilogy of the Divine Comedy Purgatorio. If you want to see Paradiso and it's been a week, you can check it out right here. If there's nothing there, it's not out yet. Or you can check out other What Is videos right here about other sorts of cool things. Thanks for watching.